What's up guys? Today I wanted to show you how to read guitar tab. Pretty easy. You see over here in the left hand corner you got letters that represent your strings. Tab is read from the bottom to the top and your low E string is at the very bottom. That's your sixth string. Your A string is your fifth. Your D string is your fourth. Your G string is your third. Your B string is your second and your high E string is your first. The other thing to note is you're reading tab left to right as you would read a sentence. The next thing to note is we're gonna call this columns of numbers. Now for example here we only have one number which is eight. That represents the eighth fret. So we look over here that's the G string, that's the third fret. You will fret the third string on the eighth fret and pick it once. You will move over and look at this column and see how many numbers is in that. You see a 10, that's all you see. And you see it's the D string which is your fourth string. So the fourth string will be fretted on the tenth, picked once. Then we come to our next column, look at the numbers there's an 8, it's on the G string so we're gonna fret the third string on the 8th fret, pick it once move to the next column we see a 10, we come back over it's the D string, so that's your 4th string you fret that on the 10th fret, pick that once then you come over and you see you have another 8 and then if you look through here there's. It, column by column now there's you know no other numbers down here so what this means is you're solely gonna be using the G string your third string you're gonna be fretting it on the eighth fret picking it once keeping it fretted on the eighth fret and picking it again so they want you to pick that twice then they want you to move to the tenth fret and they want you to pick the third string on the 10th fret once then they want you to move back to the 8th fret pick the third string on the 8th fret once move back to the 10th fret pick that once move to the 11th fret you pick that once move back to the 10th fret pick that once move to the 8th fret and pick that once now you can see there's a number here so we come to our column and we look and what they're telling you here is 11th fret 4th string because it's on the D so the D string will be your 4th string fretted on the 11th picked once you look at your other columns there's no other numbers so you're just gonna be fretting your 4th string on the 11th fret picking it once then you're gonna fret the 4th string on the 10th pick it once and then the 4th string on the 11th picked once you come over to your next column and you look and you see the number 8 so you come back over look at your string third string and you fret the third string 8th fret pick that once then finally you come over here and you see this is the last number before we hit a set of bars that's 11 so that's indicating the 11th fret and this time it is on our A string which is the 5th string so they want you to fret the 5th string 11th fret picked once these vertical lines right here that you see is indication of the first part of in this case the solo being played everything after these vertical lines is what you play next and you do it the same way you read it from bottom to top left to right and you go to your columns so you could see third string fretted on the eighth fourth string fretted on the tenth third string fretted on the eighth etc etc and when once you get over here to uh, the eighth fret you're fretting the third string eighth fret and we come to this next column and you'll notice there's uh, nine with a forward slash 
and then a 10. This forward slash indicates a slide. Now you'll have a forward slash meaning sliding up or you'll have a backward slash indicating sliding down. So what they're actually in this column telling you to do is on the ninth fret they want you to fret the second string on the ninth fret pick it once and then they want you to slide all the way down to the tenth fret. After you do that you come over here to your next column bottom to top and you see a 14 and a 14. When you come over here you'll see your second string and your first string. This indicates they want you to bar that means they want you to fret both strings and then strum through the second and first string one time. Now in my next example here It'd be uh, ACDC's Night Prowler. This is the intro to it. You can clearly see we're going to be reading from bottom to top, left to right. We first come here and we see a bunch of dashes, so we don't see no numbers in this first column. So we move to the next string, and that's your A string, fifth string. Now, there's a zero there. Zero it means there you pick that string open one time but if you look up above it you will see the number two and then the number two on that what this is telling you is the D string which is your fourth string and your G string which is your third string they want you to strum your A string D string and G string or your fifth fourth and third string together one time then you move to your next column of numbers and you can see a zero which represents open so every time you see a zero you're gonna pick that string open it's not gonna be fretted right below this you're gonna see or above this you're gonna see two indicating the second fret they want you to fret the third string second fret above that third fret they want you to fret the second string third fret they want you to strum through the open fourth string the third string fretted on the second fret the second string fretted on the third fret one time then you see this column here. They want you to fret the sixth string, your low E, on the third fret. And this X represents mute. It also represents a palm mute where I'm not going to get into it, but you'll have some uh, palm muted chugs. But in this case, they just want this fifth string mute it out not to ring out then you can see your fourth string and your third string it has zeros so they're going to be strummed open the next part when you look up you're on your second string so they want you to fret the second string third fret and they want you to mute that first string out and you'll strum through six five four three two and one one time then you move to your next column and read it exactly like we've been reading it so far next column next column and then when you come over here as you can see with the mute it it repeats but this time right after that you could see they want you to do the same thing this indicates they want you to strum two times through the exact same thing and then when you get to your final column you simply do the open fourth string fret the third string second fret and then the second string third fret in my next example here pain and pleasure by Judas Priest this is the intro 
Now, these vertical lines here, whoever tabbed it, just use that. They don't, they don't mean anything, so just ignore them. Unlike over here, where it tells you this is where you stop, and then you start the second part. So over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to read bottom to top, left to right. So right here you see a zero and a zero, but you see a letter after it, which happens to be the letter H. What they're telling you here is on your fourth and third string, you're going to strum them open one time. The H stands for hammer on, and right after that, you'll see the number two, which indicates the second fret. So what they want you to do is strum the fourth and third string open once and then use your other finger, whatever that may be, and hammer on. That means hit them strings, the fourth and third string on the second fret and keep them there because in this column here, the number two shows up and they want you to fret that fourth string on the fourth fret picked once and right after that they want you to strum through the a fourth and third string one time but you'll see the letter P that means pull off so after you strum through that fourth and third string on the second fret one time you're gonna pull your fingers off it just like you hammered off you're pulling it off then you're going to strum through the open fourth and third string. Then you're going to go ahead and you can fret your fourth string, second fret, pick that once, and then you're going to bar your strings four and three on this second fret and strum them once. And then you're going to do that pull off. Then you're going to strum them open and then you come over here and you see they have another set of zeros so that indicates they want you to strum them once and then strum them again and then the H indicates hammer on to that second fret again then you come over here you see these uh, lines telling you the first part of the intro is done and then they want they show you the zeros again so you're strumming them same strings open hammering on those same strings on the second fret and you can uh, leave them barred after you hammer on and then just pick that fourth string second fret one time and then strum through that fourth and third string once and do that pull off and then you're going to strum those strings open again and then you're going to strum through the open fourth you're going to fret the third string second fret and then the second string third fret and strum through strings four three and two one time and having your guitar in your hand for this and looking at it and putting your fingers on the frets helps a lot ignore this L as there's a lot of abbreviations with letters and the next part I'm going to show you is the abbreviations. These abbreviations is called tabul Tablature Legend. That L stands for Tied Note. The X stands for Dead Note, Muted Note, or you can do the chugs that it's not ringing out. The other thing you will see here is the H for Hammer On, P for Pull Off, B for bend so they might want you to bend up or bend down and then if you look down here in the lower left there's a capital S and a small s the capital S represents shift slide whereas the small s represents legato slide the difference between them is if you're sliding say from the ninth into the tenth fret and it just has a forward or backward slash you do not pick the note now in some tab it might have the big s and the small s which 
shift and legato slides one you just slide in and do not pick that note on the 10th fret where the other one is when you slide in to that 10th fret you will pick that note fretted on the 10th fret the other signs that you'll commonly see and they're this they, they look like uh, this it's just that little squiggly uh, next to the number one on your quick uh, keyboard if you see a bunch of them together that means vibrato it okay so that sums up the abbreviations and if uh, you look at tab and you see something just uh, do a search and see what that symbol represents in tab